Moving on to the ears, same idea. We have pieces of skin in the ears that are easy to cut. Um, it's a really common mistake that a lot of groomers make, both new and old. If you flip the ear inside out, you can kind of see we have this little kind of odd little wrinkle in the ear, which nobody knows what it's for, but a lot of people, you know, accidentally cut it with clippers or scissors. So when I'm clipping the inside of an ear, I like to flip it inside out and lay it against my hand like this. And I'm always moving from the dog's head towards the tip. So this way I'm going across and I'm not going to grab any of this extra loose skin. If you're clipping down like this, you can see it's a really easy area to grab that flap of skin and then we're all in trouble. And um, same thing with the scissors too. If you're trimming the edge of an ear with a scissor, always, always, always point the tip towards the tip of the ear this way. You don't want to go in this way because it's really, really easy to grab skin and make a cut. While we're on the subject of ears, um, ear plucking. Some dogs are a little fussy for it. Um, sometimes you get clients that say, you know, my vet says, don't clip, you know, don't pluck the ear. Some say my vet says, get all that hair out of there. So it's kind of um, a dog by dog situation as far as knowing when to pluck versus, you know, not plucking. So um, I usually ask the client, would you like his ears plucked? And then I go from there. Um, when I pluck an ear, I start by flipping the ear inside out, just like we have it here. And you can use your fingers, you can use hemostats, whatever's easier. And I usually just try to hold the ear as I'm pulling the hair out. Just so I always have a hand on the dog, like we talked about earlier. And then if you get the hairs that are really down in there deep, and sometimes you kind of have to almost open up the ear, the base of the ear with your thumb. So I just kind of give a little tug, and that way you get that little, like, there's like a string of hair that's always hiding down in there. So sometimes just by opening the ear up just a little bit, you can get that out and clean it out really, really good.